a little overwhelmed by these new butterflies. Ending the deal is what sounds best. But Beck won't just simply give up. Yes, today we are back with the next part of the Valentine's Day project. If you haven't seen the other ones, catch up right here. Juliet's gotten bit. Yes, she has. She's been bit by the love bug. She is starting to get a crush on Beck. Even though she doesn't want to admit it, the butterflies, which she's trying to be avoid, are real. And now she's trying to plot the deal because she's nervous. I don't... I can't blame her. I don't blame her because this, this is new for her. She's not one for love. She didn't believe in it. She didn't believe in all that stuff. But it's starting to hit her. She's starting to feel that mysterious emotion. And she's scared. So we're going to let her, you know, take baby steps that we're not letting her do is cancel that deal. I don't think so. Beck is so sweet. And we finally learned the backstory between them and how Beck, was only really rivals with Juliet because he wanted to get closer to her. Like, now that we've spent time with Beck, besides that first chapter where, it, like, he really was kind of a rival, it's very clear that he only does this stuff for her attention. And now that she's giving him that attention, we see what a sweetheart he is. He is such a good guy. So no, Juliet, the butterflies are happening. The love bug bite is staying on you. We are proceeding. But if you enjoyed this story, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Why? Excuse, excuse, excuse. Because it doesn't make sense anymore? I don't know. Because it doesn't really make sense anymore, does it? Why wouldn't it? I still want to make you believe in love and we still want to write the article about this. Are you scared you will enjoy your date a little too much? Beck, I'm being serious. I really think we should cancel the deal. Why are you freaking out on me, Juliet? I'm not. Oh, but you are. Come on, I know you. What's wrong? Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't. You haven't done anything wrong, Beck. At all. Then what is it? So whatever it is, let me fix it. Beck, there you two are. How's everything going? Good, the lies. We've made some significant progress. I'm glad. I'd love to have whatever progress you have this Friday so I can read it. I'd love to give you some feedback. Sure thing. Great. You two make a fantastic team. I know, right? Who would have thought? I'm looking forward to reading your progress. Okay, back to this. I'll write a bit about some of the things I'll come up with. Then you can edit and add whatever you like. So you're really calling this off? Look me in the eye and tell me you want to call the whole thing off. Back. Cool. Unless you're brave enough to look me in the eye and tell me you want to stop the deal, then it's still on. But you can't do it. But you can't do it. You want the deal. So what in the world is your plan? To avoid him till the end of time? What exactly is my plan? Um, no. No, no, and no. No. We're just gonna say we're not avoiding him and we're not acting like nothing's happened. We don't want to eradicate the butterflies either. We'll just act like nothing happened. I'll just pretend the butterflies don't exist and keep being professional. That's not gonna happen. I don't think it's as easy as pretending the butterflies aren't there. I can't like him, okay? I can already see it being an epic failure. But why wouldn't you give it a chance? Because I'm not his type, Summer. Honey. Did, did you forget the past, like, multiple experiences with him? Let's not do that. He told me. He's a hopeless romantic and is looking for his epic love. I'm not epic love material. I think you're very much epic love material. Okay, so let's say I believe that. I tell back that I have these weird butterflies in my stomach. Butterflies that flutter for him. Then what? He says I couldn't be less interested. Where would you get that from? It's a defense mechanism. I really think it's just her defense mechanism because there is no way she didn't just hear all the things he's been saying to her and then come up with this. She's just scared because she's letting herself open up and I think she's trying to like deflect and make up an excuse saying it's like Beck who's the problem when it's like she's the problem. That's not going to happen. Beck's clearly interested in you. What? Um, you really think he's not is interested. I think he's pretty obvious. He has his eyes on you all the time when you're together. He's going out of his way to get you to open up to him. He wants you to believe in love because he likes you and wants you to like him back. I need another coffee and I should get back to work or you need a drink. I'll see you back at the office. 
my usual to go, please, Ash. Rough day, rough life. I'll make sure they make your coffee just as you like it to brighten up your day. You're an angel. Thank you, Ash. Poor Ash. I really appreciate you. You deserve it. Actually, the coffee is on me today. Oh, that won't be necessary. And Beck is showing up again. Add a black coffee to go to the order, both on me. Beck, what? I want to make sure your energy is in check since we have a lot to work on together. Why are you everywhere? The last time I checked, you said you liked spending time with me. That was when you were hugging me on the Ferris wheel. Beckett. Bye, Asher. Thank you so much for the coffee. You're welcome, Juliet. He knows the crush. Good to know it's working. What in the world are you talking about? If you're flirting with the coffee guy, it must mean that my efforts are working. I wasn't flirting with... Wait. He's jealous. Let's ask him if he's jealous. Beckett Doom. Are you jealous? That's besides the point. Don't change the subject back. It's a yes or no question. Oh, but you can ask these questions, but I can't do the same to you, Mr. Juliet. We're not talking about me. Now we are. Oh, he got close. He went zooming up. Mm, you bug me to no end. Back. I'm starting to get addicted to the way you say my name. Oh my gosh, she was getting real romancy. Be honest with me, Juliet. Why do you want to cancel the deal? What changed between our day at the seafront and today that you no longer want me close to you? I want you close and that's the problem. Nothing changed. Oh my gosh, something must have changed, Juliet. Nothing did. I have to get back to work. She's going to be the death of me. That was interesting to watch. Hey, do you know if I did something to push her away? No, you didn't. That's just Juliet for you. There's a reason why I'm her only friend. She has no contact with her parents and she just basically never lets anyone in. She doesn't want to get hurt. Yes, I don't know how much she has told you. Just that her parents' divorce was messy and that really messed her up. Yeah, well, that's about it. But don't give up. If you don't, you'll eventually manage to get in, I promise. That's if you want to get in, of course. I really do. Good. Then just make sure that once you're in, don't leave. I would never do that. Okay, okay, somewhere to the rescue. What are you doing here? I told you. Unless you looked me in the eye and told me you wanted me to stop this, it wasn't over. So I'm picking you up for our plan. Bet. Listen, I'll dial down the intensity if the deal is too much for you, but I just managed to convince you to be my friend, Juliet, and I'm not giving up on you so easily. Beck is so sweet. He is going above and beyond to make Juliet believe in love and be in love with him. But I think what's sweet is because even though it's very obvious that he wants her to like him, be with him, all that stuff, is... He genuinely, I believe personally, wants her to just believe in the magic of love and help her open up and help her heal some of these wounds that have not healed after all these years. I think that's really sweet. He's been nothing but a good guy. Besides a little bit of snarkiness when he was a rival, he always has her best interests at heart. So today there are no romantic related plans, just a basketball game. What makes you think I like sports? Just a wild guess. Come on. I got pretty good seats. I don't know if I made it clear that I really like spending time with you in there. He goes again. He likes spending time with me. I think you made it clear. It wouldn't hurt for you to rep. I don't know what the, the rest of that sentence says, so I'm scared for like to click it. Well, let's say I'll repeat. I think it's repeat. I mean, it wouldn't hurt for you to reassure me as many times as you want, Julia. I adore spending time with you, and I solemnly promise I won't push the idea of love on you if you don't feel like it. We can always just hang out as friends. Sounds nice. Is that a yes? I would have to go get changed. There's no rush. We have plenty of time to make it there. Before I go, were you jealous of Asher? Who's Asher? Come on. I think I made enough heartfelt confessions for a day. Go get changed, gorgeous. I'll take that as a yes. Okay, we have enthusiastic sports fan. Okay, that one's cute, trendy. Okay. And subtle. I mean, I'm not really seeing the difference between the trendy and the subtle, to be honest. Even though I like the trendy one, we're going with the enthusiastic. I look amazing. We're going to really rep out here. 
Let's see what's going on. And there's that smile I'm addicted to. I take it you really like sports. I really, really, really like sports. I've never been to an actual game though. Thank you so much for bringing me. Thank you for coming. How much were the tickets? Let me, don't even think about it. It's on me. Everything's on me. Him paying for everything feels way too date-like. Okay, well, you know what? He wants to, so let's buy the food. Let me at least take care of the food. You're so stubborn. It's okay, I got it. Next time you can invite me and pay for everything. Okay, deal. Some way, apart from the butterflies, Beck also made me feel at ease. It felt like my body was at war with itself. Trying to combust from the tingly feeling of being near him but feeling like I belong next to him. I never thought I would be thinking things like this, especially not about Beck. Oh, but you are. Oh, but you are. I guess denying it to myself is pointless. I like him. I really do progress. We're making progress again. Look, I kiss Cam. The what now? The ease is gone. I know the odds of the kiss cam pointing at us is very low, but still I can't help but worry about it. Admitting myself that I like him is one thing, but kissing him? Plus it's the kiss cam. He'd be, oh, he's going to be obligated when I don't even know if he'd actually like to kiss me as much as I want to kiss him. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Where did that come from? I just admitted that I like him. Acknowledging that I also want to kiss him is too much. Would you relax? Oh my gosh, did he realize I wanted to kiss him? What are you talking about? You look nervous. I'm fine. You're not. I know you. Don't worry, Juliet. I won't kiss you not like this. It's not supposed to be like this. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, he wants the big. He wants a production. In private, I think. I think he wants a private, but he wants to do it his own way. I hope you had fun. I did a lot. We'll figure out the deal as we go, okay? And we'll find a prize in case I lose the deal. But I really hope that's not the case. We'll see. Sleep well, gorgeous. Back. Yes? What did you mean when you said that you wouldn't kiss me like that? You said it's not supposed to be like that. First kisses aren't supposed to be forced, Juliet. I wouldn't want to kiss you because a stupid kiss cam asked us to. Oh, okay. Plus, you didn't seem like you would have wanted me to kiss you if the kiss cam pointed at us. That's not true. Oh, uh, wait. Does that mean you want me to kiss? You're the one that doesn't want to kiss me. Why would you think that? You just said so. You're so blind. Of course I want to kiss you, Juliet. <gasps> Oh, the feelings are being let out. The feelings are flying free to be continued.